All right. Hi, everybody. I'm Chris. I design uh, curriculum and learning services for large IT organizations for Tech Town, uh, mostly really big companies. And I want to leave with the caveat that I'm not a real engineer like most of you are, uh, but I do work with lots of engineering teams in the real world. My original concept for this talk was just to dump as many terms from lean production at you as I could, and I thought that would be really fun, and all these parallels would speak for themselves. But as I was building that, it seemed kind of lame, <laughs> and I thought maybe that's not the most valuable thing I could offer, because I think everybody gets this, this sort of manufacturing metaphor, Gene Kim does a great job introducing it uh, in the Phoenix Project, and everybody's read that, or I hope they have, and so probably not the best use of time. Uh, so instead of dumping a bunch of terms at you, I'm just going to put them all in one slide and categorize them into the themes of Lean. Not going to go through them all one by one, but we get this stuff. Uh, continuous improvement, optimize entire systems, uh, increase flow, reduce waste. Um, this stuff is DevOps, so you know we already have a sense for this. We, we get it. Um, so, there's one other thing that I want to mention about Lean. Uh, there's this really important idea in Lean. Uh, you know, we think a lot about value. Uh, and from a Lean standpoint, you know, we feel like value comes from the people doing the work. So that's really important. Uh, and I want you to keep that in mind for the rest of the slide deck. Um, so you know, if that's the case, it's really important to optimize your work environments, empower your people to deliver as much value as possible. Um, but in the large organizations that we work with, they're still having some problems that indicate they're not doing really well with that. So also in a lean spirit, uh, I really wanted to go and see for myself uh, what's going on. Uh, why are these organizations having pain doing DevOps? And so uh, we've done that, and I've worked with a lot of these organizations. And uh, so rather than spout lean terminology at you, I thought you know, it would probably be more valuable for me to talk to you guys about uh, you know, what we actually see in these customer organizations. Uh, because a lot of the problems are uh, kind of the same, <laughs> and uh, you probably run into some of these. Um, so as we look at application or IT service workflow in large enterprise organizations, um, a lot of times the easiest way to think about flow is uh, from a functional standpoint. So whether they're trying to do cross-functional teams or, or whether they have uh, sequence gates or whatever, it usually always kind of looks like this. You know, there's a design, development, test, QA, release, production, etc. There's a lot of issues with this. Handoffs functional batching, a lot of waiting as project work stacks up, the long cycle time between need and delivery. Uh, from a lean standpoint, there's all kinds of problems with the flow. Um, and so, you know, we try to deal with some of these. Um, waste is huge in, in a lot of these organizations. Uh, work is oriented around project constructs and stuff. Uh, and from a simple value stream map, you can see the waste. This is in the style of Joshua Arnold, somebody I admire a lot, so uh, you should check him out if you don't know him. Um, but there's even a bigger problem. The bigger problem is that, is that these other constituencies, mostly layers of management, uh, that have huge impacts on the workflow. Um, and unfortunately, that's tragic because these companies' DevOps practice just turns into a, a, another form of local optimization. Uh, because the managers, who I want to defend for just a minute, because there's a lot of work in a big organization, engineers don't want to do, you don't want your engineers to do that. We need this stuff done, so it's okay. It's okay to have some management layers, but there's a big issue. Um, the people in these constituencies often have never even heard of DevOps. Uh, I, I really have hardly ever spoken to a PMO where anybody ever even, I mean literally, ever even heard of DevOps. So how do you align across an entire system if huge organizational uh, constructs don't even know what DevOps is? That makes it really hard. Managers need frameworks. A real customer said this to me just a couple weeks ago. We love a good framework. I thought that was funny. Uh, if somebody wants a framework, you know, there's going to be somebody there to sell one. So if they don't have a good framework that you are talking to them about, somebody's going to come in there and uh, they're going to present a framework to them that may not do exactly everything that it promises. And that framework may even just be another top-down management implement implementation. So uh, be careful for that. Um, however, there's something really good here, and I'm going to make this point to you guys. We have a framework already. It's lean. <laughs> okay. There's tons and tons of validated knowledge there. And by the way, Lean is a management framework. Uh, Lean isn't about chef, no offense, Nathan. Uh, Lean is about management layers empowering and optimizing workplaces for the people who do the work. And it's a language, it's a vocabulary that management layers can understand. Uh, so I feel like you know we ought to be feeding these management layers this type of vocabulary, this type of framework, because these people want the DevOps. They want the business outcomes. They want the engineering practices. They just don't always know how to talk about it. And they don't really always know the questions to ask. 
Uh, but I can promise you one thing. From what I've seen, uh, I think they're ready to listen. Um, so that's what I've got for you. I appreciate it.